Hello and welcome to a brand new series in the Warhammer Geheimerschnack mod. We are going to be playing as a human once again. Why are we doing this? Well, it's because they have completely revamped everything to do with cults. Now, if you remember back to a series we did previously, we kind of joined a cult, weren't really sure what was going on. And we had another series where we were in a cult, not really sure what was going on. There was no, like, you know, details, everything was a little bit odd, there was no way of keeping track of things. But then Paradox released a DLC. Well, Monks and Mystics, all about societies. And if I go into here, you'll see we have quite a few. Now, of course, you have the Order of the Bleeding Heart. Not important. That's kind of like the Nice People's Order. We don't need to care about that. The next five, however, are of great interest to us. The Crimson Skull. The Corn, um, like, Society. Children of Doom. The Nurgle Society. The Purple Hand. The Zintz Society. The Sibirate, Sibirites, uh, the uh, Slanesh Society, and then the one that we're going to be aiming for first, the Lost and the Damned. This is the Chaos Undivided Society that we are going to be hoping to join. So we are going to be doing that right off the bat. We're going to be listening out for rumors. Now, where are we going to be starting? We're going to be starting in Imperial Middenland, which is an interesting spot because really we have no immediate threats. Because, um, say if we were playing as Imperial Telebeckland, we'd have Sylvania coming around. Imperial Reichland has a little bit of a problem with, uh, some of its nearby neighbours not exactly being friendly. It's not in the most, it's not in the worst spot. Uh, Imperial Westland gets, uh, raided a lot from over, over there. Ostland gets attacked by Kislev. Middleland, uh, or Middenland kind of just stays chill, which is kind of what we're after. We're wanting to look into the cults, and we're also going to look to expand into perhaps some of our, uh, well, Imperial allies, I was going to call them, who are basically around the place. Now, we're not playing as the head of this play of Imperial Middenland either. We are, in fact, playing as a Duke. We're playing as the Duke of Tobens. We've got some opportunity to expand within Imperial Middenland, in fact, to expand to control it. And we have some opportunity to expand outside it, so everything is going fantastically there. Let's have a quick look at ourselves. So, we are um, a human. We are a brilliant strategist. Hedonists, which is perfect for joining uh, the Chaos Societies. We're greedy as well, which works into that. Craven. Uh, paranoid Just. So really, we're not that great a character in terms of um, like in terms of traits, but we have the stuff that we need to join Chaos Cult. One thing that we are desperately missing is children, because we're currently in a game over state. So, first thing we need to do is find a wife. So, we can do that. Uh, do we have find a wife as an ambition? No. Room and air actually sounds like a fantastic ambition, because it increases our fertility by 20%. So, we'll go over that. And then a focus. Because um, we really, really need an air, I'm thinking uh, seduction. Puts us up to 45% fertility and gives us a huge chance of getting an air. Especially if we try and sleep with women who are not married. That way um, we'll have bastards we can legitimize. So that seems like a fantastic way to start off there. Our council is pretty weak. Spymaster can upgrade slightly. Steward can upgrade slightly. Marshal can upgrade significantly. So might actually be worth upgrading our marshal. Although that would mean that our heavy infantry leader with high marshal couldn't be in charge of our armies. Which could also be useful. And Chancellor can upgrade slightly. Court uh, Priest is actually the best he can be, which is nice. Uh, so our Court Priest is currently going and hunt hunting apostates. We don't want him doing that. We want him... Um, I don't know. Probably researching cultural tech right off the bat. Uh, we want our Spy Master to just stay where he is. We could upgrade him. The problem is he's a powerful vassal right now. And really we don't need any trouble within the realm until we uh, like have a good way to deal with it by joining one of these cults. So we won't do that. We'll just leave him to scheme. Uh, until we think of something better. Our steward is going to go and collect taxes, make us some extra money, and our marshal. Now we could have him organize the army, which in fact would be a good way to put uh, this guy in charge, the 17 marshal guy. Have him organize the army and get us really, really good commanders. In fact, it might be worth giving up this guy for the 17 for that. The other one is that we can do is train troops, which basically just gives us a larger levy size. Let's put in the guy of High Marshal, have him organize the army. This means that our commanders will be improved and we can find new commanders, which is a very, very useful thing. Then our Chancellor, we need to go improve opinion probably with someone. We'll leave him on Statecraft until we think of something that we want them to do. Right, Laws, uh, Succession is currently gavel kind. We probably want to change that um, as soon as possible into something like Tanistry if we can, in fact. 
Uh, what do we need? No vassals in negative opinion. We have the reign for 10 years. Uh, okay. And we have to have either full council authority or elect a monarchy already. Mm. Uh, okay. Full council authority. Um, where is the full council authority law? I wonder what it means by that. Must have full council authority. Okay, we'll look into that a little bit. Um, maybe it means that we have to have complete control. We have to have abolished the council. That that might that might be a thing. Anyway, um, if we can't have that, primogenitor is always a good shot. And in fact, we could probably do that. Although it says right. At the, oh no, it says all of the following must not be true. Oh, okay, right. That's fine. Um, so. We can't have Tanistry under any kind of... Oh, no. Okay, one of these must be true. We either have Conclave disabled or we have late feudal administration. Ah, I was looking in the wrong place or Imperial administration. So we just need to move this up here. So that means we have Legalism level 3. Legalism is currently level 2. So we're not that far off Tanistry, which is by far the best. But we could also get um, Primogenitor soon, if not right now. Uh, no, we still need late feudal administration to get that, or the province of Midland to, uh, to have that something. Yeah, okay. Seniority? No. Um, yeah, it looks like we're kind of stuck in Gavelkind until we can at least get up to, uh, level 3 legalism, so we need that extra tech. That's fine. Uh, military, we have about 2,000 troops. That's alright. We can deal with that. Whole bunch of different uh, things that we can do in here. Nothing we really need to rush into. Um, okay, what's our important decision? Recruit a court physician. What's our best option for that right now? I think it's 15. If that's the case, I'm probably not going to go and recruit. Uh, court physician, 15. Yeah, we're not going to go and recruit right now. We should get married. True, we have some de jure claims on uh, Allenhof, who is directly underneath our liege, which is fantastic. He has 700 troops, so that seems like a good place to attack. And Korberg, who has 490 and is directly under a leash. Wait, you're not directly under a leash. You're actually directly under a king who we're not under. So if we split this up here... Yeah, we can take Korberg, but this one's going to be more difficult to get. Okay. Korberg seems like a very, very good place to attack first. Okay, cool. Uh, we need a designated regent. Um, might just use that for the opinion. We'll go by rank and just give it to somebody who we want to like us. Um, probably Tobias right now. That's fine. Um, we don't really have anything that... Like, we're not expecting to be incapable anytime soon, so we'll probably be fine from that kind of standpoint. Uh, and Commander... Uh, we're basically just looking for someone who has some kind of bonus. Boslev is currently our court priest, so he can't do it. Uh, Craven, there we go. Uh, the stats are really low. We'll just go for for the highest marshal for right now. It doesn't really matter. So that's fine. Um, right. Anything else that we need to be doing? Not really. Okay, let's get married. Right, so we're looking for somebody who is in diplomatic range, who is a woman, who is not in prison. Do we have any filters? No filters. Okay, so they do reset per mod. That's fine. Um, not married, not a ruler. Yeah, because rulers would probably say no. Don't really care about great house, have to be an adult. And we'll look at, we'll just save that filter there, but we're also looking for things like lustful. There we go. Uh, we have Francis, who is tall, which is an alright trait, which presumably is genetic. Shy doesn't matter, zealous doesn't really matter, lustful, diligent. Okay. Sure, we'll marry um, Frances. She's not amazing, but she will definitely do. Arrange marriage. There we go. Fantastic. Then we're looking... F oh, I was only searching our realm. I could have searched all. Oops. Oh, well. We could have found somebody who was slightly better. Doesn't really matter. We found somebody who will do within our realm for just now. Uh, and then we'll probably try and seduce the other lustful person in our realm. Just because it'll be easy. Right. Uh, anything else we need to be doing? Don't think so. I think it's time to unpause the game. There we go. We will try and seduce this lady. Wait for everything to happen at the start of the game. Uh, he has accepted our marriage. Fantastic. We can collect royal aid, which we will do. That will get us a little bit of money. We did lose a lot of prestige for that, but that's not really a problem. Rumors reach you that in Sylvania, 
a vampire lord by the name of Vlad von Kar Stein. Karstein. Um, I always say it wrong, and it's got it's got in my head. People have corrected me several times. Anyway, has summoned a massive army of undead and aims to make war on the fragmented empire. Damnations. Okay, that's fine. Uh, are we in that one right now? No, we're actually in the Scruton surfacing of Middenhe Middenheim. Okay, so some uh, Skaven have decided to come and attack us up here. That's fine. Don't really need to worry about it. Ooh. We're uh, getting closer to seducing this lady. We will continue on that seduction path. Haven't heard anything from the um, Dark Cult yet, but that's fine. We're only a couple... We're not even a month in yet. So we have chanced upon... Elise alone in the kitchen, so let's uh, make a loot suggestion. And uh, she has fallen in love with us. Fantastic. Right, um, let's get the next one. Oh, range marriage. You would like to ma you would like this prince to marry my random courtier. Sure. Fine. Right, now what we're gonna be looking for is we're gonna be looking just gonna sort that out. We're gonna be looking for lustful uh not married. Uh, they have to be in Diplo range still. Don't care if they're a ruler? Yeah, we could try and sleep with it. Well, I mean, they have to be younger, I think. Realistically. So Lustful's not going to work. Um, let's just maybe sort by age and just start working our way through the list until we, we've seduced everybody. I can't remember all of... Hedonist give... Uh, it gives fertility. Okay, we'll sleep with this lady. Right, seduce. There we go. Okay, uh, we should probably start our war on this person, assuming they've got nothing happening. They've got nothing happening. Right, declare war. Is your claim? Council votes no. Why? No opinion. There's no glory in this war. Yeah, the, I know there's no glory in this war. That's that's why I'm doing it. Uh, if we get someone else over to our side, it becomes three versus three, and that means that we'll win. Uh, how much do you need for a favor? 96. Okay. How much does the other person want for a favor? Uh, 59. He has won the bidding war. We'll seduce the next person. Uh, you want to do title revocation law. Sure, whatever. Uh, he will vote with us if we just call on the favor, which of course we're going to do right away. Right, now when you're trying to declare war, everyone's on our side because he returns the favor and then the rest are swayed by the people voting on our side. That's fine. Um, we might want to pass a law while we're at it, just because we're we're in that position. We could move status of women up. That would allow us to have better options in our Chancellor and Steward position. Centralization allows us to hold more land personally, which could be neat. Um, anything else we want? We could change these to rulers, so we could change something like um, imprisonment, grant titles, all that sort of stuff to ruler. Uh, although we only have one supporter for these laws. Yeah. Um, council is not allowed to initiate voting for this type of law. Interesting, it's just our choice. Oh, okay. Um, sure, there doesn't appear to be a negative to doing this, so let's just move that up. There we go. Said council is not allowed to do voting. It's not allowed to initiate, oh, initiate voting. It doesn't say how they'll vote, because it's too large a text box. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Um, yeah, let's declare the war now that we've got that vote going. That's fine. Uh, let's raise our men. Let's move them all into... I said let's just move them all into Coburg. We should be fine. Let's merge up the armies and make sure we're good. Um, make sure at least one of the armies has three leaders. Yeah, that's fine. Right, and then attack in. These two are going to arrive first, so I should probably put one of them... Probably give one of them all the leaders. That's fine. We should be fine attacking in across this river. I hope. There we go. Yeah, we have doubled their men. We're about to get in another... Um, yeah, we're going to have four times their men. It doesn't really matter. Aha! We are about... We're in place to seduce another person. Uh, let's uh, meet in my room my lady her. And it worked. Fantastic. Another person's person is in love with us. Right. Next one. Uh, you. Nope. And seduce. Oh, it's because we're still in the previous seduction. Yeah, are we out of the previous seduction now? Yeah, now we are. Right. Right, keep trying to seduce her. Merge up her army. 
Um, we don't really need to chase. We can just siege down. Can I just point out how much better this mod is running than it used to? It used to be so slow, but now it's actually reasonably all right. Uh, our priest would like us to pay some money for extra tech points. Uh, how many do we need to upgrade? Uh, quite a lot. It's quite a lot of money he's asking for as well. Nah, we'll, 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 we'll wait and do it normally. Witch hunters are a necessary evil, though their methods can be cruel. They are often the first and last line of defense against the spread of chaos. Do I want to invite some witch hunters in my realm? No. Because getting rid of them is a pain and we want to join uh, the cults of chaos. Aha! Fantastic. I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with priest uh, Boslav of Eldagsan tonight. It's lovely, yet what I'm most charmed by is Bo Boslav himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation which has slowly begun to touch upon some of the most heretical ideas questioning the might of Ulrich? Um, why does he ignore us? Fantastic. We'll continue trying to seduce that young lady. Walking the palisade to my castle, I'm joined by priest Boslav. I uh, find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly, he turns to me and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? Um, sure. Yeah, let's do that. What if I told you that all you have been taught to believe is a lie? Boslav continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of the ruinous power's mark. Ulrich is a false god. Only the power of the ruinous powers is real. Yeah, um, one odd sentence. Anyway, um... So, you'll help me win on the battlefield? We might. If you offer yourself up to the ruinous powers, he will grant you... Power... He will grant you powers Ulrich has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in my pocket, I nod... Slowly nodded. Oh. And I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. Fantastic. They'll be in contact with us soon. Great. Continue trying to seduce this young lady. It's been some time since Prince Bo uh, Priest Boslav has been in contact with me. I've been pondering what Ulrich would think of me for venturing down this path, but Boslav has already offered me more support than Ulrich ever has. And I have begun studying books on the ruinous powers, and so far I'm finding the views preached at the temple to be narrow-minded at best. Their lies are meant to hold us back. Okay. Let's see how else it goes. How yeah, we change status of women? Uh, what are options like for steward now? Still not amazing. Chancellor? Still not amazing. In fact, we don't really have anyone else on the list, but that's fine. Uh, we have more options now in theory. Found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night, and I dare not ask my court priest to decipher it. Yet, I think I understand the mark of the ruinous powers. Well, let's uh, carve the mark into our arm, just like he showed you. He showed us. There we go. Uh, keep trying to seduce the young lady. Right. They just kind of ran off, didn't they, the other army? They just went to the capital and hid. That's not going to do them much good. I sent Talama a beautiful necklace and uh, had her room covered in wildflowers. The gambit seems to have paid off for I found a magnificent new saddle with her embossed seal in the stables today. Pretty clear symbolism, I'd say. Yes, yes. Right. Continue sieging. Uh, Brother Peter, we have received word of your dedication and desire to join the worship of the Ruinous Powers. Await the messenger. Let Ruinous Powers guide you. Signed, Magus Gustav. Uh, what's that? Gustavus. Okay. That's fine. We'll keep waiting. Seeing what they come to us with. I've met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful man at court. Apparently this Trigiv is a foreign diplomat. I engaged him in conversation for the first time today and we spoke at length about strategies. I was shocked when he finally pulled up his sleeve revealing the mark of the ruinous powers. Oh, and then I met... Uh, Talima in the kitchens, and of course, I made a lewd suggestion. And then we went back to this guy. The mage just smiled. I'm pleased to find you not only an affable man, Peter, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The brethren value the pursuit of knowledge and power. His smile turns into a grin as he continues. We'll see soon exactly how committed you are. Okay, what does he want me to do? And we have slept with another woman, so let's uh, wait for that to go and reset itself. Right, let's seduce the next one on the list. Right. 
I've set my sights on Lucia von Way. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Trigiv escorts me to the building. I hesitate upon entering. Eldric and blasphemous chants come from inside. Several hooded figures surround the room, chanting in unison. Chaos is the only true master. They want me to murder Priest Mathis of Leonberg, a holy priest of Ulrich. Well, I'll do whatever it takes. So sorry, Prince. Uh, the priest, Matthias. He's pretty dead now. With the blasphemous ritual finished, Trigiv congratulates me. Welcome to the Lost and the Damned, Duke Peter. You're now a servant of the ruinous powers. Glory to chaos. Fantastic. Well, that seems like a good point to end the first episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that sort of stuff, because it really, really hurt, helps with search ranking and helps the channel grow. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.